And this is what I found. This is a scatter plot that represents all of the publicly available videos on Tom's channel at the time of recording. There are 588, and if you wanted to watch them all in one go, it would take you two days, 10 hours, 37 minutes, and 24 seconds. Along the x-axis is duration. So the further to the right a marker appears, the longer the video. The y-axis is the number of views. So the higher up a blob appears, a marker appears, the more views that video has attracted. Let's explore it in a little bit more detail to see what we can find. To make it easier, I'm gonna disappear from shot so that you can see the graph better. Marker size indicates percentage likes. The bigger the marker, the greater the percentage likes, and the color is the year the video was uploaded. The dotted line is really important. It denotes the value of 790,463, which is the median value of views on the channel. 50% of videos have received more than this, and 50% fewer. There are two clusters here that I think are interesting. This one of longer videos that don't have so many views, and then this cluster here of shorter videos that are doing very well. The most viewed video is this one with 40.7 million views, and the lowest number of views goes to the Fire Jugglers of York with 8,233 views uh, since 2009. Let's look at how the channel's evolved over time since 2006 when Tom first started uploading. And you can see gradually how more videos go above that median value. And then in 2013, which was a really important year for the channel, we have quite a big cluster of videos doing very well indeed. That trend continues, but then a new trend emerges. From 2015, we see videos getting longer, but also receiving more views. And that trend is very visible when we get to 2020 where we have a lot of videos in this area of the chart that we haven't had before. High views, long duration, Tom's viewers are watching for longer. What about videos that Tom's viewers dislike? Can we find the most disliked videos on the channel? Well, in this next plot, I've made marker size proportional to the percentage of dislikes, and it's very obvious to see which videos are disliked. Now, it's important to point out that the level of dislikes on Tom's channel are generally very low. But this chart makes obvious which two videos have the highest number of dislikes. They are this video here, Stealing Our Friend's Brain Backup Prank Gone Wrong, and then this one here, Gender Neutral Pronouns, They're Here, Get Used to Them. Interestingly, although this video has a high number of dislikes, proportionally compared to the rest of the channel, it still has quite a high number of views. So what about topics? Which topics are Tom's audience most interested in? The language files, you can see how popular they are. Amazing places, there are lots of amazing place videos and they generally do quite well. Just like things you might not know. A lot of things you might not know videos doing very well. One of the playlists that's very popular is the basics, and you can see that here. Anything with Britain in it seems to do fairly well, and built for science is another popular topic. In addition to all that, I can tell you that the median duration of Tom's videos is 3 minutes 41. That videos uploaded in April have the most views, followed by videos uploaded in May, much, much higher than videos uploaded in other months, and that these are the top 10 videos of all time on Tom's channel. Now what we've done here is a sort of exploratory data analysis project. You could take this much further. You could try to find out more about the viewers by discovering what their interests are in terms of the videos that they're watching. And then you could try to predict which videos would do better in the future. You could look at the distribution of video views and see if you could model that. There are many, many things that you could do. I use Python to do exploratory data analysis. And if you'd like to learn the skills to be able to do this kind of thing, then take a look at my course, the details of which are in the description. Thanks to Tom Scott for his great YouTube channel, and there's a link to his video which gave me the idea for this video in the description.